This year, our hospital turns 50 years old, and we are extremely fortunate that Dr. Carol Shapiro has been here since the beginning. She is an incredible physician, philanthropist, colleague, and friend who continues to improve lives at Sentara Northern Virginia Medical Center and in our community. Dr. Shapiro came from Pittsburgh to the Washington area to finish her medical training at Georgetown University. She was adventurous enough to come out to the countryside of Woodbridge looking for a community to establish her plastic surgery specialty medical practice. The administrator of the soon to open Potomac Hospital drove her to Dumfries to meet with Dr. A.J. Foazzo to show her potential office space. Since she was beginning a new practice, Dr. Flazzo also offered her one day a week in his office as a family practice physician. That began her role as a community doctor. She embraced the opportunity to serve the community quickly, accepting the request to become the physician to the Garfield High School football team. We admire Dr. Shapiro's willingness to be involved wherever she feels she can contribute to the solution. Her services chair of the Grants Committee of the Potomac Health Foundation as a small example of her continuing commitment. While serving the local area, she has made time in her life for two terms on the Board of Visitors of Virginia Commonwealth University and its medical school. I can remember back many years ago when she started championing the need for developing a wound clinic. She understood the need for that service in our community and she knew it would help so many people regain their lives. We're here today with a state-of-the-art center with the capability to treat patients who can benefit from the center and services provided there to include hyperbaric oxygen therapy. She currently chairs our Medical Affairs Committee, which is the committee responsible for physician credentialing and quality. She is also a member of the Potomac Foundation Board, which provides grants to organizations in our community that promote health. She was most recently instrumental in obtaining funding for Youth for Tomorrow to expand its clinic services and for the development of the County Crisis Center, which is an emergency treatment center for behavioral health patients. Both are very valuable and needed services. Dr. Shapiro has dedicated her life to Prince William County community. She has served in countless roles. There are two that stand out to me, her volunteering as a physician, with a tattoo removal clinic to allow previous gang members a new start in their lives, and her work with the Potomac Health Foundation. She's made an incredible impact in this community. Dr. Shapiro additionally has served as chair of the AMA delegation. And I remember one meeting when we were going to a meeting and I traveled with Dr. Shapiro at the Gaylord um, Conference Center in Maryland. We got to the front door and we were trying to get to the front desk to register. And Dr. Shapiro knew so many people nationally that it took us at least an hour to get from the front door to the hotel registration desk as people were seeing Dr. Shapiro and greeting her after having not seen her for several months. She is well known not only in our community, but nationally. I think the word that describes Dr. Carol Shapiro is driven. Dr. Shapiro is driven not only in clinical medicine, but in the multiple leadership role she plays both at our hospital, in the state, and nationwide. Dr. Shapiro has a passion for helping others and is a physician who always has the time to make you feel as if you're the only patient she's seeing that day. And she treats all of her patients like a member of her very own family. What I love most about Dr. Shapiro is her passion and her dedication. She embraces change. She saved a patient's life with hyperbaric treatment. The patient survived and walked back into the clinic to thank her. It was incredible. It's not unusual for her to hand out her personal cell phone number to patients. You just don't see that these days. Um, she's always finding resources for her patient and often providing that resource if a patient could not afford it. She has dedicated her entire life to helping people in this community. She also has so many wonderful things about her life outside of medicine. Her love for her family stands out. I love to hear her stories of travel with her husband, Don. He has been her biggest fan and supporter over the years. Truly lucky to work with her. She is a, a true gem. The one thing I admire most about Dr. Shapiro is that she is a natural mentor to all members of the medical staff. 
Her innate desire for others to succeed is evident in every interaction one has with her. As a result, all medical staff members, whether newly graduated or a longstanding member, hold Dr. Shapiro in high esteem and look to her for counsel and advice. And she gives it with care and empathy. I would describe Dr. Shapiro as a caring professional and a medical expert with the highest standards for quality and patient care. She's a kind person and committed to doing the best for her patients and the community. She's a leader in the hospital, the community, and the profession. I've known Dr. Shapiro for over 30 years and I've worked with her in wound care for the last 13, 14 years. And she's an amazing woman. I've enjoyed every moment of it. She has always treated us like family. You know, for Christmas and everything, we are family. And it is so much fun to be there with her. She cries with you when you have a problem. She laughs with you when you have a problem. She's just there. And it's just wonderful to have a friend like that. That's all I can say. She's my friend too. Thank you for working with me, Dr. Shapiro. It's been such a pleasure. I am grateful for my relationship with Dr. Shapiro. My oldest daughter went to her first stay away camp this summer. Dr. Shapiro shared her experience as a young child at camp and how her father wrote to her every day and the impact it made. Dr. Shapiro wrote a letter to my daughter at camp that summer and timed it perfectly to arrive on a certain day. My daughter will never forget that. How cool is that? We are incredibly lucky to have her here. I would like to thank Dr. Shapiro for her support of the community and the hospital and our mission to improve health every day. I want to thank Dr. Shapiro for the exquisite care she provides to the patients in our community and thank her for the mentorship she provides to our medical staff. Thank you, Dr. Shapiro, for what you've done for the community. Uh, you help people, you take your time with each one, helping them to, to work with them too decide what care works best for them. And thank you for teaching us how to be like you and to take care of each patient individually and see them that way. I would thank Dr. Shapiro notably for being a role model for the rest of us. Dr. Shapiro embodies what it means to be a true physician. She cares for her patients. She cares for the hospital. She cares for the profession of medicine. And as I said, she's a role model and sets a very high benchmark for the rest of us. I would like to thank Dr. Shapiro for all she's done and continues to do for the community, patients, and team members. She's a great clinician and a wonderful patient advocate. We are so privileged that Carol Shapiro chose to take a chance on a fledgling place like Prince William County in 1972 and make it her home. We continue to benefit from her work her advice, and most of all, her spirit of dedication to all of us around her and our needs. It is truly not possible to thank Carol for all that she has been willing to give and do for us, beyond giving and doing ourselves as a testament to her work. May she have the opportunity to continue for many years to come. Thank you, Dr. Shapiro, for all your care, compassion, and unprecedented contributions these past five decades. On behalf of everyone at Centera Northern Virginia Medical Center, we offer our gracious thanks and unending admiration for all that you are and all that you do.